Um, today I will be doing the falling pennies experiment for you. What you'll need is a 3x5 note card and you'll fold it first in half and then you'll fold it in thirds on each side to create these little um, flaps for the pennies to sit on. Then you'll need at least two pennies um, for each time you'll want to do the experiment. So I would use this as an introduction to forces, gravity, and Newton's second law. So at the beginning of an experiment, and I would ask students to predict that when you flick the card with a penny on each side, which penny will hit the ground first. So let me show you how to do this. You'll place it on the edge of a table or a lab bench if you have one, and you'll take two pennies and place one on each side. And you'll hold it at the end that's on the table. And now you'll want to listen for when the pennies hit the ground. Three, two, one. So as you saw, the penny on the left flew about five, four or five feet that way. And the other penny went straight down to the ground. But as you heard, they both hit the ground at the same time. And students may believe that the penny that is falling straight down should hit the ground first because there's less distance being traveled by that penny. But because we released the pennies at both, both at the same time, gravity started acting on them at that same moment. And the downward component of our forces acting on each penny is the same, as well as the acceleration of those objects, causing them to hit the ground at exactly the same time. This is why Regardless of our initial horizontal force of one penny flying in this direction and one penny going downward, they hit at the same time. We can disregard air resistance in this case because the pennies fall such a short distance. Thanks for watching and remember to think like a proton and always stay positive.